Hi, in today's video, we will talk about how to create a chart like this, which is a multiple line charts using two different methods. We'll be using these two libraries. So let's create a sample data first. So if I look at my data, I have three columns, date and number of patients and number of deaths. Using the ggplot, let's plot a simple line chart. Give a ggplot command to create a line chart using the date on the x-axis and number of patients on the y-axis. And I want to create a geom line, which is a line chart. And I'm using a theme called theme classic. So using these four lines, I should be able to get a simple plot. We want to plot another line chart as well, just to show the number of deaths as well. So I would have to create another geom line and say deaths in this column because we have one column for patients, another column for deaths. So notice that on the ggplot command, I've given only the x-axis value, which is the date. And on the each individual line geom line command, I'm giving the y value. For example, first I want patients, on the second one I want the number of deaths. So using these two, I can get two lines. Similarly, if you had another column in your data set, you would have been able to give another line like this and then plot it. Now, what if I wanted to plot the points as well? So we'll have to give another command, point. Similarly, I'll give another command for deaths as well and say, so if I highlight this by giving some space, you will notice that I've given a jump line and a jump point command for the patients. So I have to repeat the same line again. Similarly, I've given another set of lines for deaths. And if I run this, we expect to see two line charts and annotated with, with dots as well. So this is what we get. Now, this is just a basic chart. We can enhance it further. So let me give another command which can do a bit more. So in this case, I'm actually using different color set, like for uh, for the patients, I'm saying blue color, and for deaths, I want to show red colors. And I also want to have um, the legend there. Remember in this chart, we never got a legend. So we would want to know which, which line belongs to what. So using the scale color manual command, I'm saying that I want to name my legend as variable, and under that, I want to see death and patients. So death would be plotted in green color and patients would be plotted in black color. You would notice that I've given another color command here. That doesn't matter because if I run these, it didn't do anything. We just got a blue and the red color. And the reason is that this color is outside the AES, the aesthetics starts there and finishes there. So to be able to use the legend, I would have to use the color command within the AES. So in this case, for example, if I say blue, and if I say this, this, and this. So if I change my script, to bring the color within the AES command, you would see that now the color has appeared as green and black. And also we have a legend. The title of that legend is variable, which was this. And then the first one is called deaths, which is the green color. And the second one is called patients, which is the black colored one. So far so good. but. Notice that you're given the color there as well. Now this color doesn't matter because color has to be, you can give anything here. I can say patients, I can say patients, I can say deaths. And if I change and run it again, you would still get the green 
and the black color. I can even make it like one, one, two, two. So this is option one. There's another scenario where your data could be in a different format. So let me convert the data into a different format. So using our original data, which was three columns there, one for the patients, another for the deaths, I'm making this change into the data and I'm making this a longer data using the pivot longer command from the tidyr package. You would notice that I have another data set now, DF2, which has lot many, exactly double the number of observations because we had two columns there, the patients and the deaths. So they have been clubbed together by this command. And the way it has done is that it has created a column called name and then repeated the values for each date. You can notice that for the same date, I have two rows now. One says patients, other says deaths. Similarly for the second, for the third and the fourth and so on. And remember, if you had multiple, more than two columns, you would have actually got, let's say you had another column in there um, as number of discharges each day, then you would have three rows, one for the patients, one for the deaths, the other one for the discharges. And that has an added advantage because if you have a data like this, which is in a long format, the advantage is that everything becomes very simple now, especially for the, for the line command. All I have to say is that my x-axis, I want to have the date, and on the y-axis, I want to have the value, which is this number. And I want to color it by the name, which is this variable. So automatically it knows that it has to use two different colors, one for the patients, one for the deaths. And in the last example, you have to use the germ line and the germ point for each of those variables or columns. And that gets complicated. Let's say if you have to plot 10 different lines on, on the same chart, you would have to repeat the whole sequence 10 times. But with the data like this, you don't have to worry because you're saying that I want to color it by the name. And if I run this now, it is going to do exactly the same thing what it did in the previous example. But this time, Everything came with very few lines. All I had to say is um, define the germ line. And there's a slight difference. I didn't have to say anything in there because I've defined the X and the Y values within the AES. And that was possible because the data was in a long format. I can pack a bit more information into this by giving proper labels by giving a proper title and then using the colors and also formatting the, the labels. For example, I want to have the labels formatted properly with a comma, etc. So if I run the big script now, you have everything in this chart now, there's a total there, n equals 33995, and then there's a daily patient count title there, and the numbers are formatted, the legend called variables, and the first is the deaths, and the second one is the patients. Remember in this case, the color is slightly wrong. I wanted to this to be the blue color, and then I wanted this to be the red color. That's quite easy to do. I have to do this, I can just put a reverse command there. Or I can simply change the blue and red. So now if I highlight it and run it, here's my chart. Deaths have been colored as red and the patients are blue. I hope you found this information useful and practical. The code would be available in the description. Have a look at that also. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.